started just showed up couldn't be any more windy got the bibs on i'm gonna go and try to get the hut up in this wind and check back then but it is super windy so we'll see what we can do in regards to that it is so windy it's ridiculous getting the hut up is gonna be a nightmare but we're here and it's april and there's ice that's all that matters to do Alrighty, it was nearly impossible to record out there with this wind. It's got to be gusting upwards of 50 miles an hour, sustained winds of 40. But we got the hut up barely. It's not perfectly shaped just because of the circumstances, but all ready to fish. It is just nasty out here. We got the hut is just jerry rigged, the arms holding it down but it's down for now. Alrighty, finally all set up here, fishing 49 feet of water. I got a little soft plastic on with a mealworm. Um, looking for lake trout. Would be surprised if we get into some rainbows, but uh, gonna get to fishing, gonna get to jigging, and this is gonna be hopefully the ticket to success. Marking our first fish. Come on, baby. Oh man, it hit me. Get ready. Paint's on. Nice. Keep your rod down. Nice. Nice. Feel good? Yeah. Let him peel if he's gonna peel. He's not. Feel pretty nice? Mm, sort of. Little pup. Nice. Nice job. First Laker, super aggressive, hit both of us. He was tiny. Yeah, look at that, nice. Hold him out. Nicely done, first little Laker. Just a little pup. That's a start. <laughs> Send him on back. Marking him pretty good right off the bat here. Got another one. He's gonna chase you. Get him to chase. Oh no, he wants this. Getting these lake trout to chase is the best. All right, now that the action slowed down a little bit, I can explain what we're doing here. We are in 50 feet of water, as you can see here. We got the bottom, which is this solid band of red. Then you have your depth all the way down and to the bottom, which is the red. And then we have our baits just slightly suspended off the bottom waiting for fish to come in. So as you can see, when I jig my lure and raise it, my bait is gonna go up in the air and then back down as it falls. And we're just gonna wait for fish to come in like that. And it's been pretty good so far. We had uh, had one strike and a couple bites and we've been marking them pretty good. So hopefully we can get some more to come through. Come on, baby. Got him. So definitely okay. Can you pull the deucer? Thank you. It's definitely okay. It's a rainbow. At 50 feet. 
normally when we see these guys in this depth of water, they're higher up in the column. This guy came right off the bottom and nailed it. Maybe 19, 20 inches. Send him on home. It's coming to you. Got him. This is a little guy. This is a tiny little guy. Little acre maybe? Yep. <laughs> Long and skinny. He's right there. Did you get him? There's a second one right here. This one's huge. How big is yours? Oh, wow. Paint's on. And there's definitely another one. Nice big rainbow. Nice big rainbow. There's a second one. He's got it. Yes. Jeez, he was playing with me for so long. This was the smaller of them. There's a couple. Nice, they're right below the hole. We could see them swimming no more than five feet down. Did they leave? Guess they left. Kind of been messing around with this one fish. Oh man. Kind of been messing around with this one fish. He just bit me. We'll see if he can come back and bit again, bite again. Got him. Small. As expected, probably just a pup. Just playing, playing tag with him up and down the water column and finally got him to bite. It's not as small as I'm thinking. It might be a little bit bigger than a pup. Get a bite? No. It's small. Just another pup. On the light tackle, they're always fun to fight. I am using two pound test on these guys, so it's still pretty fun. But just a little guy. I don't really want to switch. I love these swim baits so much, but I feel like need to try something else maybe this little lindy spoon something like that if they're not going to hit the swim bait on the chase i don't think they'll hit a tube i'm gonna go with this these lindy spoons have been great for me all year i know traditionally they're used for walleye but the smallest size works for trout of really all sizes i like them bit better it is it is can you reel up this one's nicer yeah, he's fighting oh wow it's like nothing are you kidding me Jeez. Sorry, get back down there. <laughs> a great day overall. Kind of a, a first, first time ever ice fishing in April. We started the season in November, late November, and now it's early April and we're still out here. So that makes for six months we were able to come out. There's well over 20 inches of ice still here on the lake, but days like today, despite it being so cold and us being bound to the hut, it's 50 degrees out and sunny, and the whole week is supposed to be the same. So that is not going to be good for the ice. So this will probably be it. But we got uh, fly fishing, cat fishing, all that kind of stuff to look forward to. But that's probably going to conclude it here. 
so beautiful.